Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, and I'm going to be showing you guys my personal favorite divine locations so far. So I've used a few of the divine locations, like the divine yew tree and the divine mithril rock, and I was not very impressed with them at all. They're not very good money, and they're not very good XP, considering how short they last. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, my favorite, which is the divine hunter area. And what you need for this is 64 divination. And if you don't have 64 divination, that's okay too. Um, you can also get a friend that has 64 divination, and he can make it for you, and you can harvest it, or a stranger. You just need to find someone that has 64 divination and um, either give them chinchapas or have them buy chinchapas from the GE or something like that. But, um, yeah, you only need 64 to do this, and you need 45 Vibrant Energy as well. Vibrant Energy is the level 60 to 70 energy that you harvest. Um, so what you do with that is you just combine them together, and you make this Divine Box Trap thing. And then you want to place it down in an area where there's a lot of people. There's not really a lot of people here, but uh, I'm just going to place it down anyway for the sake of the video. And once you place it down, you can harvest from it, and at lo as long as you have 77 Hunter, you'll be getting really good XP from this. If you have below 77 Hunter, you don't get as good XP, but you can still, uh, it's still kind of worth doing. You can harvest regular Chinchampas, Red Chinchampas, Grenwall Spikes, and Palya Meats from this. And the Palya Meats and Grenwall Spikes are worth a lot, so um, I've found that you can normally get about 150k profit from uh, putting this thing down every day. So let's put it down and hopefully a couple of the people here will join us and we'll see what we get. So you just place down the divine box trap and begin harvesting from it. And it does fill your um, daily limit pretty fast, but at the same time it's really good hunter XP if you can just see all these XP drops. It is really nice. Um, you get like 1,100 XP for every uh, Grenmal spike that you harvest. You just need 7,700 to do that. And that's really, really good XP. And also, if other people harvest, you get noted items. As you see, I got a uh, noted Pau Meat. That's because someone else uh, was harvesting from it as well. A couple noted Pau Meats. And um, so you can make a lot of money and also get a lot of Hunter XP at the same time. Every time you harvest from these, it can be up to 15k Hunter XP. So that was pretty beast. And you saw that only took uh, about 30 seconds. And then if you if I price check all the items I got afterwards, it adds up to almost 150k. So that only took a few seconds for 150k. You're not going to be getting that much from the other divine locations like the Mithril Rock or the Yew Tree. They are not very good money making at all. But um, for the for the divine box trap, you get a lot of money. So this is my loot from just a couple days of doing the Divine Box Trap. I'm just going to be keeping it all in my bank and selling it once I have a large amount or something like that, I suppose. So the Grenwall Spikes and the Meats do add up to quite a lot. I'm not sure if the Meats sell for that much. I would imagine they probably don't. But at the same time, that's at least 300k from the Grenwall Spikes alone because I know for a fact the Grenwall Spikes sell. And also Red Chinchampas sell for more than 130 each, even though that's not very much money at all. But anyway, you do get you do this activity mostly just for the hunter XP. So that's what I would recommend for you to use your divine location on every day because you can harvest a certain amount of resources every day from divine locations. So I would recommend you harvest from the divine box trap trap unless you are a really high divination level and you can do stuff like the divine rune rock, which I personally have not seen yet, but I've heard it's really good money as well. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future videos. And also join my friend's chat in-game at Monkle Zunkie.